uh, welcome back. So today we are working on, or I am working on, uh, an adapter for HF2A Toyota to NV4500. And so I made a wooden adapter to make sure all my bolt holes, all that line up before I cut a nice $120 piece of aluminum. So this is what I got so far. Uh, I got the adapter here that's going to mount to the tail housing of the NV4500 and then that will mount to this part of uh, the transfer case. Uh, this is a spare case I picked up so I can take apart to make this a little lighter, easy to work with while I make the adapter. But there is the one that's actually going into 75 belt. So, uh, cut this out with the CNC today, and then as I was placing it, I already broke off that piece that's now wedged in there. Um, but that's the downfall of using MDF. Um, this is only a prototype, so not a big deal. I'll knock that out. Uh, so far, my, let's see, as you can see, that one aligns. That one's aligning fine. That one's there, that one's there. There, 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 there. Looks like I'm all aligned on that side. So uh, now we'll see if I can somewhat tap some bolts in here to get this to stay while I then put on the transfer case. Um, then place this on top. So this is gonna go like this. So that is how the adapter is gonna work one inch of material and the only if you can see that for the front output shaft or front output is that will be need to be machined a little bit so i need to trace that outline onto the wood so i can make that adjustment on the cad drawing but everything else looks good not seeing anything out of place so whoop, shit uh, it's always tough doing this one-handed. Alright, so uh, I'll place this on this side so you can see actually where I need to uh, machine some out. Everything's lining up. I do have some uh, locating pins. Uh, I need to find out if they actually go in in here and then I will wallow out the adapter a little bit so these fit but I don't want to put these in the adapter and then because they are tight as hell going in here and these are the right ones uh, so I mean, it looks identical to that one and these usually stay put and one side or the other is a little loose so I'm guessing I don't know. I'll have to go look at the transmission adapter, the OEM one, for the automatic and see if those pins... Actually, that goes in pretty good. That may work. Alright, so, uh, let's see here. Place that down. There we go. Had it right the first time. So, everything's lined up. This section's a little, I don't really like that. Those are a little close together, but I assume that won't be an issue. Hopefully, we will see. All right, so I am making a little bit of adjustment to the adapter to clearance. Uh, as you can see, I am, this side is interfering with the uh, rear output doohickey. So what I did was uh, just put some painter's tape on here and then just cut along that line to get me the clearance needed. And then I'll pull that off place here and then cut that out um, and then get some measurements for, or actually the smarter people that can run CAD files will make the adjustment for the adapter. Um, Got the jigsaw out, 
traced it, got there, and got plenty of clearance now. I'll probably uh, get this rounded a little bit better, but that's a program deal. I don't need to get that perfect. Um, this side's fine. It actually took off more than I needed there, but it actually hugs the line of this now. This I could actually, uh, if you see it overlaps, uh, I have found in the past that two pieces of metal that are flush are not fun to get off. You end up having to wedge a screwdriver in uh, after it's pookied together um, to bang it out. I'm actually going to leave the lip so I have something to bang on to get it off. So uh, there you go. Uh, we'll touch base back uh, for a part two when I actually have this guy um, cut out of the actual aluminum which I'll use for the adapter. So there you go. Um, probably be three weeks or so till the next video I imagine depending on how busy my buddy is who's gonna machine this adapter for me. So uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, give me a like. Uh, be ready for part two. All right. Thanks, guys. See y'all next time.